in the cryptocurrency space for nearly seven years now. This July will be seven years since July 31st, 2017, the day that I first saw a fateful video that would set me on one of the greatest adventures that I've ever known, that being the founding creation and growth of this YouTube channel. And in that time, I've had millions of dollars pass through my hands. I've built a large company. I've been able to make videos that have been seen by nearly 30 million people. We've built a huge following and I've learned a lot. And today I want to tell you some of the things I've learned about how to do something similar to that. And I also want to give you some advice and uh, some insights that to be honest, you probably didn't see coming. So let's talk a little bit about what it looks like to build a million dollar cryptocurrency portfolio. If you're going to build a million dollar cryptocurrency portfolio, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to ask yourself one question. If I was to live my life the way that I've lived my life for the last month, if I was to live my life that way for the next 20 years, would that be a life in 20 years that I'm glad that I built? You see, I think anything that is going to lead to growth has to be done consistently, extremely and ruthlessly consistently. And whether that be something that you do on a daily basis, whether that be something that you do on a weekly basis or even on a monthly basis, just about everything that will lead to growth in your life must happen at least once a month or else there will not be any growth. It's just a one-off. If you want to, in 20 years from now, be in good shape, you're gonna have to work out at least once a month. You're going to have to get active at least once a month, probably more like once a day to once a week. If you want to have a successful marriage and a successful family and have your kids not hate you in 20 years because you turned cryptocurrency into this mistress and cheated on your wife with it because you never spent any time with her, then you've gotta set aside some time to date your wife. You've gotta set aside some time to spend with your kids. If you want to build a multi-million dollar cryptocurrency portfolio over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years and set yourself up for, not, for financial sovereignty, you need to ask yourself, what are the things that you are doing right now that will lead to the success that you were looking for? We have a vision over the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years of building a huge business as a ministry where we can teach hundreds of millions of people about the principles of financial sovereignty. I want to help you guys get your finances straight and glorify God in them in a way that will bring blessings to you and blessings to the to the others around you that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which art in heaven for the Christians that are here. And if you're not a Christian, that's totally fine. I still want you to be more successful with money than you are right now. And I also want you to be in control of it that you might not be a slave to it because newsflash, you are either in control of the things around you as far as the things that are in your possession or in some way, shape, or form, you are enslaved to them. So I would rather you be the one in control of them as we are called to. So why do I talk about all that? That's probably not what you expected to hear in the first part of this video. And by the way, this is gonna be a two-part video. This video is going up now. The next part will go up in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. But everything that we're about to talk about needs to be framed. It is very important that you guys understand one of the most important pieces of advice and wisdom that I have picked up over the half a decade or more that I've been doing this. And that is that everything that you want to achieve must have a system built to achieve it. This channel has over 2,600 videos on it. And for about five of the seven years nearly that it's been running, it's been about the uh, channel's about six months and six years and two, three months old. For about five of those years, we have embarked on a very consistent schedule of either we have done coffee and crypto once a day once a weekday, or we've uploaded once a day. There's been a consistent system for over six years of a content strategy. And that content strategy has almost always been upload one thing every day, whether it be a stream or a video. Generally, it's been a video. Some days it's been a stream. Right now, what's succeeding is that we're doing both every single day, a stream and a video every single day, weekday, weekend, whatever. But there's a system there. For the first three and a half years of this channel, we uploaded a video every single day, seven days a week. This is before I was married and had kids and everything, and it was actually feasible. I worked seven days a week for three and a half years. I don't recommend that, but that's what we did. And we went to our first 150,000 subscribers doing that because there was a system. I wanted to build a channel with hundreds of thousands of, subs of subscribers and change my picture financially and help you guys change your picture financially. And so I said to myself in January of 2018, 
six years ago, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to upload a video every single day until my life and the life of the people watching have been radically changed. And that's what happened. By the time that I stopped doing that, we had hired six employees, we had office space, we had grown massively, we were over 100,000 subscribers. That was the system that brought us to where we are today. And so I ask you, what system are you implementing in your life that can bring you from where you are now to where you want to be five, ten years from now? And what are some of the things that you are doing right now that are leading you in the wrong direction? Are you neglecting to do your research? Are you neglecting your wife? Are you neglecting your kids? Are you neglecting your health? Are you neglecting to obey the law? Are you neglecting to pay your taxes? Are you neglecting to do something and you're doing this neglecting activity, this neglectful behavior every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year? What is it that you are neglecting to do that you need to change? And what are some things that you need to implement and continue to do so that you will see those fruits years from now? Because I'm here to tell you that it's not going to come overnight. It's not even going to come quickly. Many of the things that you want in cryptocurrency, multi-million dollar portfolio, um, a lot of structure, you know, maybe you want to build a trust fund, maybe you want to send your kids to college, maybe you want to pay off your house. Many of these things are going to take years. And so you've got to have a plan right now to figure out what you're going to do to make that happen. What are you doing every day, every week, every month to make whatever it is that your, is your goal happen? Everywhere that I look in my life that I've had success over the last six years is because there's been something I've done either on a daily or a weekly basis for a long period of time that I've gotten the results that I want. Reading my Bible. I read at least three chapters of the Bible every single day without fail. I do my very best to never miss that, ever. And I've been so encouraged by that. I have a content schedule. I do that every single day and every single week. And I do my best to not have that fail. And sometimes you're going to fail. You know, in those three and a half years where I upload a video every single day, I'd miss about 15 videos every single year. About. Maybe two weeks out of 365 days. But the point is there was a system and I was very consistent in it. With sponsors. Sponsors, for example, on the channel, they want to see consistency. It's because there's something that breeds success when you do the same thing over and over again, you do it consistently. So that's really the topic I wanted to dive into for this first part, which is that if you have a goal in cryptocurrency, whether it be to build a certain investment portfolio or to reach a certain goal like paying off your house or getting out of debt or paying for your kid's college or retiring 10 years before 65, whatever it may be, and I know many of you guys' goals because I coach some of you guys, you've got to have a consistent plan. And that is why we teach on some of those plans. I've made other videos about your um, investment plan. I've made other videos about how to actually do your personal finances and do your budgeting so that you have the numbers that you need, um, so that you have the understanding of where, the, of where your income is going so that you can make those investments wisely. You have to have a structure and you have to run that structure consistently over and over and over again. And that is what will bring you about the goals that you're reaching for. So I ask you, and this is the takeaway that I want you to walk away from this video with, what are your goals? And what are you gonna do every day or every week reach that goal. If you're trying to build a million dollar portfolio, are you investing every week? And do you have a plan for exactly how you're planning on doing that? If not, watch some of our other videos. We've got some content on that. If you are trying to become better at altcoin analysis, so you know what coins to pick, are you doing at least 10 minutes of altcoin research every single day? If you are trying to be a better husband, because by the way, you can make all the money you want. If you lose your family while you're doing it, then you screwed up. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, you, you, you don't wanna have a lot of money at the expense of your family, I promise you. Um, are you dating your wife every week? I'm gonna get personal, because I love you. Are you taking care of your kids? Are you neglecting them for the sake of them having a nicer house? Newsflash, they don't care about what kind of house they live in. They care if you, which there's a 92% likelihood that you are a man, because that's how many of you guys are men, they care more about you being in their life so what are you doing consistently to move the needle in the right direction, not only for yourself, but also for your wife or your husband, if you're, if you're you know, if there are some women watching, for your kids, for your community, for your family, and for the Christians there watching, what are you doing to move the needle in the right direction that when they see you, they will glorify your Father which art in heaven? <clears throat> Decide on what your goals are, pray on them, figure out what they are, and then figure out what you can do consistently every single day to move the needle in the right direction. There will be a part two for this video, so stay tuned. If you're new here, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Peace.